came to the barber shop where I was sitting there resting in peace after the fucking cops was called on me. Fucking bruised me and fucking assaulted me. Come up here acting a fucking fool. Throwing Giovanni's ashes out the car, calling niggas bitches and hoes. Come up here acting a fucking donkey. Didn't fucking leave. And somebody else called the cops on her. I came up here to chill. I came up here to get a peace of mind, to get away from that shit from what happened to me last night. I could have died last night. I thought that I had a gun in my hand. Another cop had to tell everybody this is fucking phone. Stand down. What the fuck? Pull me, my stepson, out the motherfucking house. I'm done. What marriage? Because I've done nothing to deserve it. And what am I saying the whole time while you're trying to fight me? What am I saying? Bro, you need help. Yo, I love you. Uh, come here. I love you, man. Come here. I love you, bro. He's trying to wrestle with me, grapple me on the ground. What am I doing? Rubbing his back like a baby he is. Y'all gonna look at that as condescending and sad, but that's called reality. And if you're his friend, and you're like, oh no, he ain't gonna talk about him like that. Well, help him. Help him get help. Help him stop beating women so we don't have to do this shit no more. Help him stop being toxic as fuck trying to push away. A Jaguar. Arrest. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Why the fuck did he walk in my fucking house? He walked that ass whooping, didn't he? Nah, nah, nah. Hey, hey, hey. Man, shout out to the 1,800 people in the motherfucking building. Make sure that you guys are liking this video, sharing this video, subscribe to this motherfucking building. Yeah, shout out to everybody, okay? Support. Goomba's Cash App is in the chat, okay? Uh, 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 my Cash App is... Hey, y'all. Step into the room. It's Tay with the T, and I got some tea for y'all today. Did y'all see this weekend? Miss Jaguar, right? If you don't know who Miss Jaguar Wright is, okay, I'm pretty sure you done seen her all over the internet. She be telling her facts, telling her truth, but actually she started out as a singer-songwriter back in the 90s, narrator. She worked alongside some of the biggest artists, even down to Jay-Z. Now, in the later years, it seems like she's been telling her truth against former people that she's been close to or worked with in the industry but the bomb has blown this weekend it has went to the tippity top miss jaguar right husband gerald that's right gerald and solar do y'all remember solar from the little nature boy adventure the whole velvet solar yeah them two if you see him re in, in recent social media him and Velvet got together. I think they had a baby, but they also broke up. It seemed like after their breakup, some type of way, conveniently, he makes his way around Jaguar Wright. Now, if they supposed to be the gods of love, why anywhere those people go, nothing but negativity follows them? Because it seemed like since he's been around her, nothing good has been happening. Now, if her and Gerald had these problems prior to Solar coming in the si into the situation, then it was very covered and hidden because this man was everywhere with her. And I mean, you can't say what other people might be dealing with in their homes to say whether they're being abused or not abused. I won't put those words into my mouth because I don't know what another person is going through. But I don't think the way she had him going to all of these interviews with her and in her space and around her, it seemed like she was having him more of a support system in the situation than looking like she needed for safety from looking like she needed safety from him. Excuse me. Anyway. Supposedly, they were arguing back and forth over the phone. Miss Jaguar Wright decided to pull up to the barbershop where her husband Gerald was. It turned into a discrepancy, I guess, where him and Solar initially actually started fighting. Okay, and as you can see in the video, it didn't really seem like Solar was fighting back pretty much. It seems like he was basically antagonizing this man to make him more and more angry in the situation, which in that moment, 
Jaguar, she's steady recording, steady recording. Of course, she's upset because now she's calling, at this point, Solar is her nephew. That's what she's been relating, you know, calling him in reference. So she's like, get off of my nephew, my nephew, my nephew. In the process, he gets off of Solar and basically we see him hit the camera or Jaguar two times. Within that point, Jaguar lost it, guys. Jaguar lost it. She's like, you're done. That's it. You put your hands on me. That's it. Which I could agree. That's it. She goes to the car where at some point Solar follows her to the car. And I guess he's trying to calm her down. But in the midst of all of this, she digs in the back of her car and pulls out a little box, which seems, from what I've been told and what I'm not sure of and I hope wasn't, her son's ashes. Now, she gets out the car and throws the ashes of her past son and throws them on the people that's in front of the barbershop. I'm not going to lie. At that point... I lost it. Like, okay, what was the point in that? Was it putting good spirit on bad spirited people? Was that the, anal the analogy of it? But then she gets in the car and she proceeds to wipe his ashes on her face. Now, like I said, was that to bring good energy in the midst of a negative situation? But you guys, you write down in the comments. I don't think I would have been able to take my dead child's ashes and threw them on anyone or wiped them on myself for that matter. Those are, That is something that is so sacred. You understand? That's something that you hold close. Not something that you be willing to use as a weapon in a fight. I guess that's the true meaning of what they say, fight and dirty. Because that's truly the meaning of fight and dirty. Because I've never seen nobody bring dead ashes to a street fight. Like, who drives around with past deceased people ashes in their car? Now, I've seen people get trinkets, bracelets, and other things to keep their family members close. But that's not something that they're going to use in a fight. I lost it right there. And I'm just going to be honest. I love Jaguar. I love the way she speaks. I love her presentation. So when I seen this situation this weekend, the only thing that I could think is, oh Lord, they got her. And if anybody knows what the oh Lord he got or they got her mean, then truly you would understand because you can't really be out here in these social media streets exposing some of the bigger people, big ass people, and there's no type of get back. And sometimes they don't have to do the get back themselves. They can send the get back through others. Okay? What they will try to do is manipulate your circle to get close to you. That's how it works. And once they are close to you, anything around you that has to do with you from that point on will, will start to go downhill. Because this solar character coming into the situation, only thing it played on was the fact is that now people are going to try to make it seem like nothing that Ms. Wright said from this point on was accurate. Oh, she's crazy. Oh, she was losing her mind. Oh, mental illness. Oh, 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 oh. A person can be crazy, but that don't make it that they not telling the truth. I guess that just would make it the crazy truth at that point. This is your girl T with the Tay. I pray for Miss Wright and I hope that she gets better and come back and let us know the story of how things went down because right now it seems like people are just trying to benefit off of her name. I see all type of T pages where they got people on there talking and dropping cash cash apps talking about they're going to bail her out and all type. It's crazy the way people will try to monopolize off of you before they actually attempt to help you if they really thought something was wrong. But this is a way for people to actually put Miss Jaguar right 
away so nobody else has to hear anything else she has to say. But I'm holding tight for you, Miss Wright. Holding tight for you, Miss Wright. Like I said, this been your girl Tay with the T. You done got that T with the Tay. I'm on that 100K subscriber chase. Make sure you help your girl win that race. 100K chase. Help me win that race. Every day, make sure you try your hardest to stay motivated. Keep that ability and keep a great attitude. And I am la, 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 out. La, 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 la